Hello and welcome to Creating Enlarged Plans with ID8 Apps for Revit. My name is Glynis Patterson of ID8 Software and thanks for joining me today. In this video, we will tackle a few of the common challenges related to creating enlarged floor plan views in Revit, including how can I quickly create and consistently name multiple enlarged floor plans for each relevant level, and how can I quickly place and arrange these plans on sheets. Our methodology to achieve this goal is to first use Revit to create scope boxes, and then use the sheet and view tools found within ID8 apps to generate enlarged plan views and arrange them on new sheets. Here the scope boxes have already been created, but if you need to create scope boxes, go to your view tab, select the scope box tool, and just draw the rectangle that represents the area that you want to create a view from. And then once you've done that, you'll want to give, give that a name. So in this project, you can see I've got one for each of the existing stairs. After you've done that, you'll want to use uh, ID8 apps and start with the view creator tool. The first step we're going to follow is to create those larger scaled plans. And we're going to use, and this, this is a metric project, so we're going to use this particular view to create a whole bunch of scaled plans from the base plans. And the way this particular rule works is it takes the scale of the view and uh, suffixes it uh, to the view name. So the existing views that I just selected had a scale of 100. Uh, and what I want to do is create ones that are larger. So I'm actually going to make the new ones 20. Uh, and so this is actually changing the scale of the views that are going to be created. Um, if I don't like that name here, I can always change it. So here. and do a replace, and then create those views. So now we have, if we open up this one, we can see we have our 20, 20 scale plan here. And then we can use View Creator again to create dependent views based on those. I'm going to use the, our scope box rule. and grab, and, and if we have difficulty sorting through the list, we can always type a filter here to make it easier for ourselves. And we are going to make dependent views. You can do either. I prefer dependents for this kind of work. And then because we, our scope boxes are already defined, we can easily create on all three levels a new view that's just cropping that particular scope box. Here we have the warning, which is just an indication that that name's already been used. So I'll go ahead and proceed and do the rest of these. So now we can take a look and understand that for each one of these dependent views, they're all going to have the same scale here, and they're going to be cropped per the scope box. So once we've done that, then we can begin our sheet setup work. Within our sheet manager tool, we can find all of our new stair plans. You can see them here. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a new sheet. That's just using the Revit sheet property. I'm actually going to rename that because all of my stair plans here, I'm just going to double click in here and give these a new, not a new name. So I'll set up my first one, and I know from experience that I can grab uh, this this one's particularly long. So I'm going to grab the other three and kind of lay them all out on this new sheet. But before I do that, I want to pick our settings button up here. We can, in the settings area, we can assign the default viewport type on a per family basis or and per type basis. Uh, but I'm actually specifically interested in setting up the margins for each of my title block families. And um, in this case, they all have uh, 140 millimeter area over here on the right hand side. So I'm just going to do that like that. And that's a way of specifying the sort of the clear area. So when I do my drag and drop, I'm grabbing and then I'm just going to drop here. As long as there's no other viewports set up, it will know how to evenly space them there. So I've got my 
my first floor ones here and then I can take that I can sort of repeat that process for the other levels if I want or it might be easier if I clone that sheet so here we have 4.2 and what I'm going to do is just substitute the first floor AB6 for the second and so on and so forth so I can pick the 10 and then the 2 the result is that we have a new enlarged floor plan for each stairway and we've been able to quickly place and align them on new sheets as shown here. In this video we've highlighted Sheet Manager, Clone, Align, and the View Creator tools, which are four of the nine tools available as part of the ID8 Apps collection. You can learn more about ID8 Apps and our other solutions online at ID8Software.com.